And we'll also be seeing more students around the U of A in the coming days. The university says it will begin phase two of its campus re-entry plan. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink joins us live at the university with more on that story. Eric. Good evening to you, John. This announcement coming from President Robbins this morning. Phase two means more students and more faculty expected here on campus as early as next week. And I spoke with one professor this afternoon who questions the safety of this decision. The University of Arizona will soon welcome more students back to campus. And the move is drawing pushback from some faculty like journalism professor Celeste Bustamante. Just seems like a little too quick based on the data that we have, we only have lifted that um, stay at home order for one week. Bustamante says she first learned of this through the press and not from the administration, leaving her with more questions. We're supposed to turn on a dime again uh, and and switch to this next phase, but we're, we're not exactly clear what that next phase means. U of A President Robert Robbins says with a recent decline in positive cases on campus, the university is ready to go to phase two of its reentry plan starting next Monday if the data continues a downward trend. We are planning to add in-person instruction for classes of 30 or fewer students. The university says students can choose, come back to go to class in person or stay remote online. Robin says there are opportunities for classes to be held outside. The students are they are they are craving this because they want that in-person experience with their classmates and with their professors. And while they're in the classroom, even if it's outdoors, they'll have their face covered, they'll be distanced. Bustamante, who's teaching her classes over Zoom, says right now the science simply doesn't go along with the administration's plans. To meet face to face with my students, I really miss that. But I mean, I think for their benefit, for the benefit of the staff and faculty and the entire community, it's, it's better just to be a little bit more prudent. And according to the university, more than 6,000 U of A students have been here on campus taking essential classes since August. President Robbins saying today, that no detection of transmission has been discovered in either a classroom or a lab setting. We've got you covered live from the campus of the U of A this evening. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.